Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, it's going to be an update on your mission number 10, your sorting center. It can highly affect what your team does, what your team's score is. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. I really appreciate that you guys watch my robotics videos. I normally bring you guys videos Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But it is first Lego League season, so if I ever miss a day, it's because I'm really busy getting our team ready for our competition, okay? Thanks again for watching. Okay, so mission number 10, your sorting center with these containers. So the update for this one's going to be, and I'll leave you the link again for the updates if you guys don't get them. But your update is now going to be that your team gets to set these up the way you want it blue at the very bottom, orange in the middle, green at the top. But your team must set them up differently for each round. So according to where, the way it was before, the ref would be able to decide where these containers go. But the update now is you guys get to choose where these containers go, but it still has to follow the pattern of blue, orange, and green. But as long as you guys are switching out your configuration for each round, you can set them up the way the, the way you want. So the big difference on that one is going to be now your team can just go for it. So if your team is going to you know, be picking up the blue, you can put it here at the very beginning. So that way, you know, on your very first round, you guys can just go for it. Say, yeah, we're going for that blue. And that definitely now makes this a different setup because as before, you guys were just randomly trying to pick up these containers. Some of you might have been trying to just pick all three of them up and this doesn't really matter. But for those of you that are going to now be picking and choosing which containers to pick up, now you'll know exactly where those containers are. So I would now, with round one, just go for it. Go for this green right here to put it maybe in the green circle. You now know, hey, we're going to put it right here. You know, you might configure it so now this green is in the closest bay, you know, that's the shortest path where you can now pick this up when, you know, when you might be doing the bridge, I don't know. But now that makes it a lot more predictable about what your team will do with these containers and getting them, okay? So that's just the update. Again, check out the link in the description on the actual wording about this if you guys just wanna make it clear on what, what's going on, but right here, that's going to be real good that your team now knows where each container will be as long as you guys are changing the configuration for each round. Okay, guys, so I thought you might be interested in that update, and it definitely affects the way your team now strategizes the sorting center, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. Guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.